Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to meet the boxers. Let me introduce to you first, fighting out of the black corner, weighing in 62.5 kilograms. His record, unbeaten as a professional with nine wins, no losses. Please welcome from Santa Fe, Argentina, Nicolas Ariel Blanco! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the gold corner, weighed in at 51.2 kilograms. His professional record, unbeaten, three wins, no losses, two of his wins coming by way of knockout. He is a former European gold medalist, former three-time world gold medalist, former Olympic silver medalist representing France. Please welcome Sofia. Remember the instruction in the virtual room. They want a clean fight. Pelea Libia, okay? Bonjour. Buona sempre. Thousands and millions of Azerbaijan uh, Russians, Dutch, Russians. Are you ready? Uh, 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 uh. Well, we have a real world-class operator here. And the fantastic Frenchman. That I'm sure many of you have seen many times over. Sophia Umaha, fantastic boxer. I've always enjoyed watching this guy, no matter what competition he's in, he's always great to watch can do a little bit of everything, or a lot of everything. Unbelievable reflexes, great timing, fantastic judgment of distance, great head movement. His punch picking is sublime. But from what I'm led to believe, in the contacts that I have, I'm told tonight that Blanco is very, very tough. And what else would you expect from the Argentinian boxers? They're always very, very tough, very hard to break, very hard punchers. I was unfortunate enough to face a few Argentinian boxers in my very long career, amateur and professional, and they always gave me a very, very difficult night. So I don't think this is going to be a one-sided contest by any means. But when you're up against the, the quality and the calibre of Omaha, you can always expect to see something special. <laughs> Establishing that jab early. Making sure that his defence and balance is on point so he can punch back. Very, very quick handed as well. But again, to reiterate my statement from earlier, if you're up against an Argentinian boxer, they're normally unbelievably durable. They have great stamina and they do not understand the word quit. 
They will keep going and going and going until they have to be saved. Of course, we've seen some great champions come from Argentina as well over the years. using that sharp jab to the body mainly as a range finder. Just the way we would like to, just a little bit off target with some of those shots. Argentinian unusually covering quite a lot of ground here. Normally quite aggressive. Boxers normally like to stand right in front of you as well. But I think he knows the sharpness of Umaha and the technical ability and the talent that this man possesses. Took a little early walk back to his corner of the old protract. What a great old professional boxers would actually understand when the rhythm was about to end. Yeah. 
Trippier and rather than go from one end of the ring to the other, they would slowly move their boat back to the corner. So when the devil went, they would just sit down very, very, very clever tactics. But something that you have to work on for you to start with the ring. The ring is from the ring is about to hit. Pour le toucher sur le dossier, juste le doucement. Je suis sur lui sans être sur le dossier. Je vais faire un Switching southpaw might not be the smartest tactic from Blanco. I've seen Umaha up against a number of southpaws and he always finds it really quite easy to box against southpaws, so it might not be the best tactic. But up to now, Blanco's doing well, he's holding his own. He's, he's not been in any great danger so far. Omaha, not of yet, has put his foot on the gas and put some of those flashy, blazing combinations together that we know he can throw. Sometimes with with great ease, it's almost effortless. Switched to the body very well there. Gave Blanco a couple of light taps to the head before sitting down on his body shot, dropped his hip. Tried to get a nice bit of weight on that left hook to the body. To the body. I would actually like to see from higher go to the body a little bit more. It is a 12 round contest. Body punching can play a massive, massive part in a 12 round contest. Like I said earlier, it's almost like putting money in the bank if you need to take it out later on. If you have that technical ability to be able to switch to the body, it's a very, very effective tool in a 12 round contest. Sharp, accurate work there.
Speed from really showing his class. Senses that. Oh, he goes to the body with a great left hook. This could only be a matter of time now. If Blanco doesn't recover so well. Michael speaking a bit of the there, trying to get a one shot of his own. I really feel he's on the hook here. From another good right hand from him. Michael's going to do really well to survive here, Matt Pinion, who might have the chance to put his foot on the gas, and he is. And there's some heavy shots. Why did he stop punching there? I don't know. Yes, he still has to let him know. Professional boxing. Although, it's the same as from Olympics to the boxing. But what a fantastic round there. From the brilliant Frenchman. Nice right hand again from Umaha. Full credit to Blanco for taking some of these shots. Some of these shots are very heavy. 
He shipped them well. Like I said earlier about Argentinian boxers, unbelievably tough. Normally have greatest stuff. That's a fantastic left foot to the body. Shipped him with the left foot to the head first, which was lighter. And then switch with the left foot to the body. Oh, what a shot! Three, four, five, six, Almost seven, eight, 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 eight. That long straight right hand to the body. Sickening shot to take. Fantastic punch from Mija. On the shield, a Blanco. Mija really showing his class now. Punch variety, exceptional. You can see why this guy is a three-time world champion. Just looking for range now. In the right opportunity. Moving his body in different positions to try and land those heavy shots. Heavy right hook round the ear. Lovely counter punch with the right up and there. He's in full control now. You do get the feeling that through my heart, put his feet on the gas here that this could be over. And the flash. Good body shot. He he's gonna have to take a little bit of a look. That hit much punishment. Wanko can actually shut. I believe that three is Italian and he's actually <laughs> he's actually played um, one of my European professional title fights. So if I put the referee for still being able to move around the ring so we can last all these years. Oh, fantastic right hand to the body. And you've seen the expression on Blanco's face. He really felt that shot. Fantastic punch. Massive new shot. Boxing as well. A long straight right hand to the body. If he hit that soft rib, it's always going to hurt. It's always going to take lots of your opponent. Fantastic punch for IA. Looking for those body shots and he is finding them, but he still has to 
try to open Blanco up and create more opportunities to land those body shots. What a good body puncher will do is preoccupy his opposition's mind with other punches before switching to the body real quick and that's how you get real success. Any boxer is normally a very, very tough abdominal region. And if they can see the shot coming, they can often have a stop the shot. But if you don't see the shot, you can't brace yourself. The central nervous system doesn't tighten up, your muscles don't tighten up. Anyone can really go down from a hard body shot. Something that you just learn over the years, the experience. Good sparring. Michael comes back with a good left hook there. Nice body shot again from Umaha. Left his left hand out in front of Blanco's eyes a little bit there and dropped it straight right to the body. Who just took far too many heavy bomb shots there. You can see why he wasn't too keen to get back up. Pikao, Pikao. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, mucho bravo. Tu viens le valoir le l'argentin là, chercher ça. Casse la boxe c'est tout. Non mais après c'est parce qu'il baisse la tête. Tu sais que ceux qui disent ne cherche pas à faire mal. Si tu cherches à faire mal, il le voit. Tu sais les gars ils rentrent la tête, tu vois. Non mais reste. Non c'est de. Non. Il est où Il est récupéré. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both boxers. Guattarone accepts the retirement of Blanco's corner. Official time, two minutes and 59 seconds of round number six. Therefore, your winner by sixth round, TKO and the new WBA Continental Champion from France, Sofia.
Ja, sen är tur. Okay, I'm going to put the pizza on my machine. I'm going to put the pizza on my machine. I'm going to put the pizza on my machine. 